both created world-class consoles and terrific games that have thrilled millions around the world. Good job. You should be very, very proud. And here's your next task. The next frontier is online games. Go away and create a new and exhilarating online service that's great for gamers and great for business. The winning team wins a contract to produce an MMORPG based on my colorful life. And I want to tell you, there's nobody, nobody that has a more colorful life than I do. Now, you know where you are, get started, good luck, and get the hell out of here. thing we needed to do was to go out and talk to the gamers, find out what they were looking for in an online gaming service. So, broadband, narrowband, or both? Have you ever tried sucking pizza through a straw? No, I, I've never done that. So what games would you like to play online? Ninja Gaiden, Halo 2, Tom Clancy stuff, racing. How about Chichi Rocket as a pack-in? Huh? You know what bugs me about Peter? He acts like he's done this online thing before. Mr. Trump doesn't care where you've been. All he cares about is where he's taking his companies next. Sports games, dude. It's all about the sports games. We gave Robbie one task, just one, and he couldn't close the deal. Mr. Trump expects you to negotiate hard and hook the big fish. Can you, like, make everything work together so I can find all my friends? And when I beat them, I can scream, you suck, dude. Oh, and stuff I can download into my games to keep them fresh. That'd be so killer. Let's tell everyone at E3 that there will be an LCD screen, a keyboard, a mouse, a Netscape browser. This battle, come on, it's all about the press releases. It's all about network adapters. That's what people want to buy. If we make compelling network adapters, figure out the e-commerce thing, we're golden. Let's partner with real networks or something. Talk to gamers. <laughs> All right. You were both asked to create online services. How did Team Xbox do? Well, I think the team did great. They've got broadband adapters on every Xbox. That's 14 million consoles. They're approaching 1 million subscribers with 150 online games. And they worked with a lot of different partners. And the best thing is that they package their service in such a way that even I understand. Pretty good, guys. But you're missing some key games, aren't you? Robbie, I mean... NFL fever, give me a break. Come on. Is that the best you can do? Well, we have big man. You know, you have so many excuses, always excuses. Save it. So, how did Team PlayStation do? Well, I don't really know. They've done pretty well in standalone games, no doubt about it. Uh, they only sold two and a half million network adapters, and they don't have integrated features. So you can't find your friends, you have multiple IDs and passwords and accounts and all. All right, just stop. What do you think we're selling here, lemonade? Why are you ignoring the services side of the equation? You didn't talk to customers. And the only thing you've shown me is a peripheral sale. The whole online thing has been a complete and total disaster. Cash, do you think it's Andrew's fault? that you didn't talk to gamers. Yes, Mr. Trump. He should have forced us to talk to gamers, but he didn't. Mr. Trump, if I Enough. Met. Ken, where's the cyber city you promised? And why didn't you have the foresight to put the adapter into every box like the Xbox guys did? To be honest, Mr. Trump, we didn't see the online gaming thing coming. But we did make a piece of hardware. Andrew. What's the thinking behind real networks? 
and all the peripheral garbage that you guys have overpromised. We're trying to create a perception, Mr. Trump. All right, this one's easy. Team Xbox, tonight we're going to start storyboarding Trump. The RPG. The RPG. Congratulations. PlayStation, you're all fired. Mr. Trump. Look, I'm sorry. It's over. Get out. What do we do now, guys? Let's have a press conference. <laughs> Maybe we should bundle something, too. Did you say bundle or bundle? So, we still on for some Halo tonight, right? <laughs> Donald Trump. Now, in addition to our budding reality TV careers, we've seriously been successful in selling more than 14 million connected consoles and have nearly 1 million live subscribers.